It's a men's double semi-final here in Madrid. It's China versus Denmark and the world's number one full of Chai of China taking on Ericsson and uh, Jens, uh, Jens Ericsson and uh, Martin Lundegaard Hansen. The number ones in the world, both at 22 years of age. How can you be that good or that young? Fu and Chai. Fu Haifeng, Chai Yun of China. They are magnificent. They have uh, they won the Chinese Dave Taipei Open. They were uh, semi-finalists in the, uh, the Onyx Sunrise in Hong Kong. But they have a great pedigree. They will be facing the experienced uh, Danes and at the age of 36 for Ericsson and 33 for uh, Lundegaard, I tell you, they're not going to have many more chances in this match. European champions in 2006, China Master winners 2006, All England winners 2006 and in 2005. Let's just have a look at this, Xiaomi. What's uh, a quick you up there? They had a buy in the first round, the Chinese pair. They then easily took a count of the Welsh pair, 14 and 9. And then against the Indians, it went to 15, 16. And then 13 and 10 against the Indonesians. So they've really not been tested. And certainly not uh, any long time on court. Neither of the teams have gone to three games. We haven't had a rubber yet. A uh, buy in the first uh, from Switzerland, 9 and 10. Uh, 15 and 10 against the Japanese pair, so uh, Ericsson and Hansen haven't been tested much either. A little bit harder against the Koreans, 24-22 with the second game there. But really, these two are matched up, as you rightly say, absolutely even Stevens, I think, in terms of opportunities to get through to that uh, final stage. It's going to be an intriguing match. Ladies and gentlemen, the world number one, on Fu line, and Chai, and Martin Lundgaard Hansen, against Denmark. the number four, Ericsson and Lundgaard Hansen. It's experience, 36 and 33 on the Dane side, against youth. 22 years old, the Chinese pair, and it will be Chai in service. Play. First game. Third is over. One love. Good start for the Danes. Two love. It's not one all, it's two love. Yep, that's it. <laughs> now that smash, I don't know what the, uh, the speed is, but that is the guy that has the world record for the biggest smash. 336k, I think it is. <laughs> A lot of short rallies just to start probably just getting used to the, the hall again. Three, one. Oh, that was super, super shot from Jens Eriksson. Four, one. There's so much angle on his smashes. Oh. <laughs> Just long, but wonderfully deceptive shots by the Danes. That's what we said, they've got the experience. Two, four. Magical to watch. <laughs> Into the face, it's a target there from Lundegaard Hansen. Oh, 
hoy está I don't know what's going on here, but certainly... Uh, well, he's asking about flash photography. That you're not allowed to have any, and I think there's a few people taking it in the building. Jens Eriksson is not too happy at the moment as he's setting up to partner the receiver. Nice shot by Chai, he's reaching and he went cross court. Signal behind the back there, do you see that? <laughs> and the signal worked for Fu Hai Feng. See if we can spot it again. Yeah, to the T, short to the T. <laughs> Just gives your partner a little advantage if you're going to flick or serve wide. You can tell them ahead of time, this is what I'm going to do. So, this is one from the back. Makes two points the difference. Seven, five. <laughs> nice reach. Turn five. Foo. A little bit lucky, but uh, he got into good shape to play at seven, six, seven. Well, it's leveled at, leveled at sevens. Little mistake by Ericsson there, but uh, it really is tip for tap. Nothing to split these teams. <laughs> what a great shot by Ericsson. He can hold the shot so well. He brings it back and played it across the net. The deception in the Danes are incredible. That's the big hit. I don't know whether we've got a time. Oh, 308 kilometers an hour on that one. Can you imagine what 336 feels like then? He is the world record holder, and that was just a little sample of what you'll find if you put it up a little bit short. Eight all. <laughs> and there's that deception again. I think Chai even moved for it. Service over. Nine, eight. Ah! There's really nothing to split them. <laughs> it's hard to get by Ericsson. Service over. Ten, nine. So they go to the break at 11-9 and the Danes have got a two-point advantage. It's really, uh, it's nip and tuck. Very, very tense stuff out here on court. 11-9, they've taken it in seven minutes to the halfway break. But uh, well, there really is nothing in it. I mean, you can still feel that there's a huge amount of power on this Chinese team. They are beautifully well matched in left, lefty and a righty. But the experience here of this pair is just absolutely oozing. Smash winners there for the Danes. The Danes still have it at net winners. And for Stenners it's evens. 
and then consecs it's to the Chinese but 11-9 uh, it's Lundegaard Hansen with the serve yeah, out of court 10-11 300 that K that one it is wide <laughs> Good net cover by Ericsson. I think whoever can control the net here will have a huge advantage. They're trying to not give away the lift, but in doing that, the net was a bit loose. To change sides for receiving, so a little hold up. It's a good leave by Eric's uh, by Lungard. <laughs> That's where they're the strong, strongest sure. with the ends up front. Good pressure there. Lungard just played a half court but um, touched the net as it went over. That really set up the point, I think. Good work. So at 14-10, they've opened up a little bit of a gap now. Can they take advantage of it in this opening game? First semi-final, men's doubles. Good shot. Nice work by Chai. Service over. 11 14. <laughs> you don't get those uh, long serves very often now. When they come. You expect to uh, at least have a better chance than that. Lundegaard Hansen had his eyes absolutely all over that one. Beautiful. Good rush by Chai. Service all well. Well, 50. I think we're going to see something different here. That's a good fight back at 14-15. They come back within one. They were 14, four points adrift. 15. So the Chinese working very, very hard. I didn't see it on the TV shop, but right in front of me here, I saw a full hand. <laughs> no chance there for China. 16-14. Service over. 16-40. Well, they've done that several times, haven't they? Touched the net on the serve return. So they make it, it so tight. Yeah. No, they make it so tight. 16. A lot of them are going to be rollers. A roller is one that touches the net, is it? Okay. Now it leveled up at 16 all in this first game. 16 all. That's a good fight back by China. Ah! It's good, 17-16. Wow. More hope than judgment there from Lungard Hansen. 
Well in. Server's a little bit loose and Lingard's gonna jump all over that. Server's over there. 17. Well, we caught it right in saying it was going to be an exciting match. 17 all in the first. Well, Fu is not used to being tied up at the net like that. He tried to get it down, snatched at it, and so they concede the lead to China. 18-17. Now 19, so that's a lovely serve, wouldn't it? Couldn't be much better than that. The pressure of Fu, when, when you're towing the line like that, there's a lot of pressure on just getting it over the net. Like I said, their serves are, the Dane serves are so confident. 19-17. That's the drive shot that they play so well, the Chinese. So tight over the net, coming at speed as well. Yeah, force the error. 18-19. And that's 20 points to 18. It's game point to the Danes. I think Chai wanted to play it straight, but he's... Uh, Ericsson all over it, so he went cross court and it just out. So, first game, two game points to Denmark. One game point to Denmark. That is over. Well, neither team have had to play a rubber game in this series. That's out and it's juice at 20. I think China got a little bit lucky there. Nobody, nobody was around on that shot. 20 all. Yeah. The deception in the Danes again. So 20 all, Chai with the service. a great rally I must say but I tell you one of those shots was definitely out from the Chinese Lungar played it and now it's a reverse match point it goes to China 21-20 Chai with the service Lungar Hansen to receive And he had that flick that time. Well, he changed the tactic a couple of times to Lundgaard Hansen, and it hasn't oh. worked either. 21 all. The Danes have the service. Really annoying for Ericsson. Touched it on his way through. He took the gamble, tried to intercept. It didn't come. 22 21, the second time it's game point to China's Fu and Chai. Fu with the serve. The left hander has the responsibility. Serving to the team. 
You saw that? It was the clenched fist and the single finger. Big hit. China had it the first game. They conceded two match points, but then took their advantage of their second match point. 23 to a uh, match point, a uh, game point, should I say? 23-21 in the opening game. Wow! It took a while to get lit up this uh, this match, but now it certainly is very much alike. 23-21. Thumping music inside this uh, Palacio de Briapotes in between the games. But, uh, I'll tell you what, there's a thumping great game in front of us as well. This is very interesting because although the Chinese have dominated the singles generally in the doubles, it's been other countries and there's only one Chinese pair left in this men's doubles event here at the semi-final stage. Uh, our eighth match in the men's doubles will be the other semi-final that will be Clark and Blair of England against Pask and Rasmussen. So Denmark really had the opportunity to do this, uh, to get the silver and uh, gold. But um, let's just have a look at the stats here for the previous game. It's all leveled up so the winners there. Net winners. There is the problem for Denmark. They're just a couple ahead in the unforced errors, and it was so close at 23-21 in that first game. So China have a chance to go through to the final. Oh. That was a bit of deceiving work there. Ericsson all over the net, fooled into the error. On four stairs by Ericsson. <laughs> Very nice cut shot by Lungard. Cut the Chinese off guard. Talking to Lungard, two of his favorite matches, he won the All Englands in 2004, 2006, but it was a Thomas Cup match against Indonesia when it was in Jakarta. 10,000 plus watching that game. So exciting. Well, there's not 10,000 in this stadium, but however many we've got, there's certainly, uh, enthralled by this battle it's two all second games Three, two. Extraordinary, Ericsson almost got that one back. I mean, it was a gimme. Service over. Can't do much with that. 2.97 from the right hand of Chayun. Didn't get the signal there, but um, I'm sure the partner did. Defense by Chai turns it around, gets onto attack with the net kill. Four, three. 
Meet down the middle. Fu Hai Fung with the service. Excellent work there, once again by Sha Yun. Side out, watch this one. Big hit, and to the left side of Lungari couldn't make it. So 5-3. Are we going to see this particular match go to a rubber game? Stunning, absolutely stunning defense by the Danes. Extraordinary at 4 5. Crikey, that was amazing anticipation, Coming reflexes. Four, five. Beautiful shot, makes it to 6-4. Service over. Look at this, right six, in the corner. Four. Oh, and tried it around the yeah, back, he but did. no success. You don't give Lungard Hansen too many service opportunities over. to smash, he loves it. Five, six. Level at six then in the second game, and that was a brave service shot by Lundgren Hansen. Paid off. Pays off again. Good defense. Well, he's flicking a little bit because the Chinese are rushing so well. So they want to keep him honest, put a few flicks in, and then I'm sure he'll come back to the short serve. Six. Put pressure on himself there, changing it to the short service. Service over. Have to keep it so tight. Seven all. <laughs> Missed by Lungar Hansen. Gives up the lead. Lucky shot, but a big one. Fool with the net roll. 9-7 China. The Chinese are very good at their defense. They like to play kind of like a banging game, slashing it around, a little bit like the Indonesian style. Well, they're world number one seeds and ranked number one in this competition. Uh, looking very, very solid at the moment. Oh, really? <laughs> Chai's body. Fu was out of place. Chai was trying to take all the defense. Short lift. Take them off. Just a little unscheduled stoppage here. A bit of a towel down. Just a moment of respite. Lundgren and Eriksson might be retiring after this match. Rumor has it. So this could be their, their last last. Try for the they, goal. What if they win it? Go out <laughs> on top. 
no, they've had a fantastic no, wait a minute. When yeah. you say match, you do actually mean the championship, don't you? Exactly. <laughs> okay. If they win it, they'll have to play one more at least. It might just be the last world championships Correct. anyway. They'll keep playing for a bit longer, but last worlds. Well, it's 10-8, and it's two points, ten, the difference, eight. and that could be hugely significant. It's going to go to the wire, I'm sure. Stop! Stop! 10-9. 9-10. Service over. 9-10. <laughs> what a great yeah. gift by Lungard, but a little bit short. Lifting it to Fu, and Fu takes advantage of it, smashes it down the middle. And that comes to bring us to the halfway point of this second game. It's 11-9, and the Chinese are still in the ascendancy. They are they're really very, very exciting players. Given half a chance, they'll kill it. Here we go. 23-21, 11-9. They've got their noses in front and determined to keep it that way. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Okay, Fu and Chai, even with the smash winners, four and four net winners. Denmark's ahead, four two. Unforced errors. Denmark leads that. Eleven nine. Play. We're back then. At 11 9, China in the lead. 12 9. Big, big moment in this match now. You can't allow them to get any more than three points ahead. We just saw Li Youngbo a minute ago. He had a lot of explaining to do after they lost, a um, Chinese lost mix yesterday, and the doubles he had to explain. Although they're in the singles. Control of the net. He did, and that was a lovely backhand there with the left hand there. 13 9. Nice. Lots of power in that. Look at this. Great angle. Well, it's now or never for the Danes. They've got to really put pressure on. 10 13. Neither team has really been able to assert too much authority. It's so close. Good call. 11, 30. <laughs> Great drive shot by Dude. Lungard. Chai played it straight and Lungard was able to cross court it. Look how right flat there. that was. Super flat. <laughs> well, the Chinese are putting a ton of pressure on at the net. Service over. They interact so well, they anticipate. This is the one, left-hander, down to ground, 14-12. Service fault, Paul. Service fault. Wow, Service for the first there. time, it's Jane Hancock. 13 14. He draws the rough. We haven't had, I must say, that is the first one today. So after four matches and this one, this is the fifth one today, first service fault. Yesterday was littered with them. Great recovery by Ericsson, and it's long. Service over. 15, 13. Amazing reflexes, but it's no good. 15, 13, China. Again. A 
great push shot, had Erickson really reaching out, made a weak return, and China jumped all over it. 16, 13. <laughs> Bit lucky there with that uh, shot of the net, but well played, Erickson. It's so hard to serve to Erickson. He's so tall and he toes the line and he could almost reach a, the net, I think. Oh, that's great shame. Lungan Hansen fluffs the shot there and it's at a very critical stage it's 17-14 good rally there a lot of defense and he tried to cut the shot reverse slice and just missed it just to let you know from the net to that short service line is 1.98 meters so almost two meters and Ericsson can almost reach it extraordinary Lovely shot into the body, and it, again, it's Fu, the big hitter. And Fu Haifeng. And that's why he's the hardest hitter in the world. He's clocked over 332 kilometers when he really hits it. 276 with that one, but it was placement into the body. But Lundgaard, and it's now 18-14, a four-point gap. It's going to be a miracle if the Danes can pull themselves back from here. There's one piece of miracle. I think if the Danes need a chance, they have to get more on attack. Get the lift, take control of the net again. Lungard with the serve after that smash, 15-18. That's the second time. The last time we saw him pick up two points on his serve by serving it long. This time... He made the same mistake when he played it short. 19-15, two points from victory. <laughs> and now it is match point to China's four and Chai. And they have just had a better all-round game and the bench are getting pretty excited too. Match point 50. Right, match point. It's Fu Haifeng to serve it. Oh, what a reflex. Oh, what a rally. What a rally. Amazing! It's out of court! <laughs> now that's the way they can play. What a great rally! Wow, the crowd absolutely enthralled by that one. Everyone's defense out there is so spectacular. Well, they had five match points, and in that rally, there must have been at least ten chances to kill it. Great defense by Ericsson and Lundgren Hansen. They will not 16, be denied. They've been 20. absolutely... Brilliant in defense there. 16-20, still four match points. A little extra pressure, I would say. The serve is going to be absolutely tight as a drum. Well, it doesn't need it. And that one's in, and that is it! 21-16 in the second, 23-21 in the first, and China go through to the men's doubles final. Fu Haifeng and Cha Yun have beaten the Danes, Eriks, Jens Eriksson and Martin Lundgren-Hansen in two games. And there you can see Eriksson, well in fact the crowd thoroughly appreciating that. Jane Hancock, the service judge, says congratulations. And the Chinese crowd are loving it.
Well, there's going to be another different nationality in this men's final because it's England versus Denmark and the other one to follow later on. But their confirmation then to love to China. There you can see it. The unforced errors were the real problems for the Danes. 20 to 15. Fairly easy. Smash winners uh, also for China. That was pretty good stuff. But uh, even Stevens all round. But for Chai, 44 to 37. Take the points and win it. Two games to love. They go through to the final.